The next step is to then reset the values after a certain amount of time because after we've captured our direction we want to then be able to capture another direction and as I can show you here we can only ever capture one direction after that we can't capture any other direction no matter what I do so this is where we, what we do is we go if var up dia and I'm doing this inside this if statement so if this is the bit where we check to make sure if the relative acceleration is greater than 10 and then if so we set up dia to true so if up dia is set to true we're then going to wait for let's say 10 mil uh, 100 milliseconds we're then going to go var dot up dia equals false and then we're going to end the statement again with the squarely bracket and then we're going to go up oh it went to false it's true and then went straight back to false so 100 milliseconds is not too uh, quick let's change it to one second that was quite a nice you see it captured the upward variable and then finished um, you could mess around with whatever values you want to use I'm then going to copy this if statement put it into the next if statement which checks the downward one and just change this to down dia and down dia again and now if I run you'll see that I can go up I detected it and I can go up again detected it I can go down I can go down and it always captures the correct direction that I've actually gone in and it's quite a nice feature actually and again down and I'm going to make it less sensitive because 10 is actually not that great so let's make them both 20 and I'll root check that now there we go nice acceleration values and amazingly you don't actually need to do that much to get them to register uh, some of them are a bit bug I've got a few bugs in it but you can capture your direction now if you want to capture not a very sensitive direction at all you could set it to something ridiculous like oof, 2 that will be extremely sensitive in directional capturing and even yep that was down that was down in fact this is incredibly accurate because the other one wasn't actually mega accurate this one it's always capturing the direction I'm going in every time down and up now you can apply this to um, the x-axis and the z-axis if you wanted and capture directions in all events in all directions then as to what would you do with this well what you can do is we could do something like this here we've got keyboard to a I could say equals down dia and keyboard dot b equals up dia and if I run oops sorry uh, went and did something wrong there uh, made a mistake of uh, slight bug there don't know why that is but I will ignore that Ah, yes, that is a slight bug. Um, so in that case, since that's not going to like it, even though rather set to true or false. Oh, that's why I forgot to stick that. It's declare it's a variable that I've already used once. I apologise for that. So here we are. Um, and I've misspelled board. Oh dear me, this is all going from bad to worse. There we go. Now it works. Up, down, and you can see it works quite nicely. Just got to remember about the delay. In fact, that delays a little bit long in happening. So I'm going to say, well, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So let's change it to half a second. So 500 milliseconds or half a second, like so. Let's get the remote tester up. That's a lot better, a lot quicker, a lot better. It's actually quite nice like that. And there we have motion sensing uh, in all its glory.
And in the next one, we'll actually have a look at detecting motion along two axes, um, sorry, uh, along two different events. So we could go down and then up or up and then down or up and then to the right. And we can actually have a look at more advanced detection of um, motion detection.